Hey everybody, I'm going to show you how to carve a pumpkin. Step one is you got to go out to the pumpkin patch and go find a pumpkin. And while you're out looking for a pumpkin in the patch, pumpkin in the pumpkin patch, don't get scared by the ghosts. Woo, spooky ghosts. Alright, here's the pumpkin patch. You got to look around at the pumpkin patch. Here you go, the pumpkin patch. You can see the pumpkin patch. And you pick out a good, you want a big giant pumpkin because you want all that gooey goo, gooey gooey, gooey gooey stuff to make pumpkin pies and stuff, right? So this one's already put in a good place. Step two is you're gonna have to clean and dry that, all that dew off and the dirt off from the pumpkin. Now that you found the biggest pumpkin you can find in the pumpkin patch, you get a rag and you clean it off because it probably have dirt on it and it'll have dew from, you know, nature and stuff. Now it's all clean. Hey, there's a spider on it. Hey, spider. Get out of here. <laughs> what you do is you first you cut the top off. You put a circle around it. If you don't want to mess up. If you don't want to mess up, you can take like a marker and kind of like make a write what you're wanting to do. So you can try to follow the circle. But it really doesn't matter. <laughs> You can try to make a circle or you can do a square or whatever kind of design, it don't matter. And it's hard to do while also holding the camera. So I'm going to have to uh, So, you cut into it with the machine, like so, or you can just carve it with a regular old knife, which is the old school way of doing it, but this machine was cheap and uh, was like, maybe it'll work. Well, come, I'll show you it off in the... Well, this thing's a piece of crap because it don't work, so, uh, our review of this thing, piece of junk. Uh, you might as well just use a regular knife and cut it open because that thing, it did that much damage and then it's, now it's played out. So don't buy one of these things because they're pieces of crap. I did it for you. You don't have to. So anyway... Basically, you take this and you see how that one just slided in while the other one just didn't work. We'll come back. All right, after you get the top off, you see in there it has all this gooey, yummy, gooey, gooey mess that you're used to make pumpkin pies or whatever. Well, yeah, I didn't do a good, I didn't do a circle. I did a square, but it don't matter. <sighs> anyway, so you take all that gooey, gooey mess out. Now to do that, you get another bowl so that you'll have it to stick the gooey mess in. Look at that gooey, gooey mess. <sighs> I found this gingerbread bowl. It's like a Christmassy bowl. So. uh that's cool. So, like I said, you gotta get all this gooey stuff out. And to do that, you use your hands. What? Yeah, it's messy. Yeah, it is messy. It won't work. Now, at the store they had this like spoon they wanted you to buy. But if that spoon's as any good as that other thing, pfft, nope. <laughs>
Besides, all you gotta do is get your hands on Missy. Come on. If you can't get your hands messy, you only be messing with pumpkins anyway. It's got all these pumpkin seeds and all this gooey, gooey mess. And after you clean it up real good, you then carve in a mouthpiece and eyeballs. Alright, you can see it still has some of that stuff in it. So if you want to get all the stuff out of it, what you can do is take like a little spoon and scrape it up against mm -hmm. it or keep using your fingers and fingernails. Yeah. Or you can just leave some of it in there. It really doesn't matter. <laughs> anyway, you also cut, you can cut the stuff off of this so that it still fits, you know. It doesn't have the gooey stuff on it, or you can pull it off your hands, it don't matter. Then you have all this gooey stuff. Now, I like to cheat, so what I try to do when I try to make the mouths and the eyes is I try to use the flattest surface because I'm not as good at carving. But some people use the rounder surfaces and use and they put the flat back against the wall or something but I'd like to use the flat surface for the face so basically for the face you just cut a mouth in and you cut uh, eyeballs now with these color changing eyeballs I don't think you have to cut uh, eyeballs in. I think you can just poke those in now it says you can make two little small holes and you can put them in there that way. But I think all you have to do is kind of like push these in. Now with these, you have to make a mouth. And then you stick these at the top of the teeth. And the bottom of the teeth for the mouth. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, there's my mouth. I told you I'm not very good at carving. Some people can make elaborate, awesome, amazing pumpkins. Not me! Anyway, so that mouth should be big enough to stick these things in. It ain't gotta be that, it ain't gotta be perfect. Halloween's tomorrow and you kind of throw the pumpkin away or you just let it stay until it rots, one or the other. Now, I think what it meant is you just put a little bitty hole where you want the eyeballs like that you know starter holes all right like I said I think it just wanted you to stick a starter hole and then the thing can kind of screw in the rest of the way and these eyeball holes have like a little button somewhere on them Like right there, that go, that change. I'm not sure if they're going to just stick in like that though. I think I'm going to have to make them go a little bit deeper. Okay, there's the goofy eyeballs. Now let me see if I can put the goofy uh, fangs in. Uh, okay. It looks like these fangs just like stick them in there and then you just twist them in. Alright, there's our silly, scary, crazy pumpkin. Silly, scary! Yeah, there's our silly, scary, crazy pumpkin. Which, I guess we could give him some hair and use these extra teeth for hair. Well, there he is. I put teeth in. I gave used these teeth to make uh, um, eyelashes, and then I gave him like a mohawk thing. And there's our crazy, creepy, scary pumpkin. And that's how you carve a crazy, creepy, silly pumpkin. Now this one, the teeth are supposed to glow in the dark, so I don't and the little eyeballs have a button that makes them light 
So I don't think we need to stick a light in there or a candle in there because of that, but we might. Anyway, remember guys, good? Uh, all the time, all the time, guys, good? Keep on gaming, keep on collecting, keep on carving. Happy Halloween. Uh, have a great day. And uh, comment down below what you think about my silly, crazy, scary, creepy pumpkin. Uh, and look at all this mess we got left to make pumpkin pie. Or throw in the trash because nobody around here eats pumpkin pie. <laughs> Laters. Uh, I'm a pumpkin monster. I'm gonna eat you. Uh. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I hope this helps you in your endeavors at carving pumpkins. Laters, guys and girls. Game on. Collect on. Carve on. Jesus on. God on. Subscribe on. Like on. Thumbs up on. Hit the bell notifications, keep them on, and uh, all that good stuff. Uh, if there's another way that y'all carve pumpkins, comment down below. Uh, but this is how I do it. Or if you have a video of some pumpkins you've carved, put them in the, in the comments down below, and I'll check them out. Laters! Remember, God is good all the time, all the time. God is good. Jesus loves you. Jesus is God. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is King. Jesus is the ruler of everything. And uh, have a great, wonderful day, y'all. Laters.